I'm Fallon from our Girl Experience team at Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio. And I'm here today because we are gonna play with raindrops. So we're gonna take some time to do an activity out of our Wonders of Water journey. If you're wondering what Wonders of Water is, this is what our book looks like. So it's all about the water cycle. So we're gonna do a little bit about the water cycle today. And here's the cool thing to know. If you complete this entire journey, you'll get a really cool award that you can add to your vest. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so what do you need to know and what do you need to have to get started today? Number one, wax paper. It doesn't have to be this particular brand. It can be any kind of wax paper, but make sure it is wax paper. The next thing you need is a straw. It doesn't have to be a paper straw. It doesn't have to be a metal straw. It doesn't have to be a plastic straw. Whatever straw you have, just make sure you grab a straw. Also, you wanna make sure you have a reusable towel if you can. Moms and dads and caregivers out there will be super, super, super excited if you took the time after we were done to clean up your mess. And also, you need a spray bottle full of water. As you can see, the water that I have is a different color because I want you guys to be able to see what our raindrops look like. But if you wanna make it a little more fun, you can definitely add a little bit of food coloring to your water. Also, you want to make sure that you are doing this on a table or some kind of flat surface and make sure that you are away from other people so nobody gets sprayed with water. And also make sure that you cover up your table a little bit if you can. So you wanna make sure you stay as clean as possible. We are down for you to make a little mess, but not too much mess, okay? All right, so let's get started. Number one, you're gonna rip yourself a nice size piece of wax paper and you're gonna lay it down on your flattened surface. All right, first part done, that's pretty easy. The next thing you're going to do is grab your spray bottle full of water. And what you're gonna do with this is you are going to spray a couple of sprays all over your piece of wax paper. All right. And next, you're gonna grab your straw. And what we're gonna do is we are going to blow at our water droplets to see what happens. We wanna know if our water droplets are gonna get closer together, are they gonna spread apart? What happens when you blow air into your water droplets? Let's see. Whoa. So it looks like when you're blowing air into your water droplets and they're moving around on your wax paper, it looks like they're collecting each other and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you look at the little itty bitty water droplets that we have, if I blow more air and collect them up, let's see if they get even bigger. Oh, they are getting bigger. So, when you are working with playing with raindrops, this is what happens in the clouds. So as the clouds are collecting water droplets and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and sometimes when the clouds get darker and darker gray, that means that they are collecting more and more water to eventually become a big old raindrop. And that's where the rainstorms come. So I hope that you had fun playing with your own water drops today. But before we go, what do we wanna make sure that we do as good Girl Scouts? Leave it cleaner than we found it. So make sure when you're done experimenting with your water drops, whatever color they may be, you want to clean up your mess and make sure that you prepare and make sure you have space available for the next person doing another fun experiment. That's all guys, we'll catch you later. See ya.